The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome to the Wyoming State Library tutorial, Gale General One File. This general interest resource is appropriate for your library patrons and older students. From GoWild.net, you can select it alphabetic here at the top or under the subject area, General Topics. General One File has several ways for you to do a search. The search box there at the top left, as well as an advanced search screen. The browse by topic here in the middle. And below that, topic finder, a subject guide search, and a publication search. I'm gonna start with browse topic. Here you can select a topic, and then it's broken down by subject, so for example, if I select computers and technology, you'll see that it has these up-to-date subjects and I'm gonna select Bitcoin. Now you'll see that it's sorted by material type. So you've got magazines, academic journals, news, images, and videos. We can select here from the content type or scroll down and you'll see that you've got a box with three example magazines, three example academic journals, three news items. As in most Gale databases, they exhibit or they list three items. To see all of them, click on the material type header. Now you can see all 3,000 magazine articles. In addition to filtering by content type, material type. On the right hand side you'll see that you can also filter by publication date and title, subjects, Lexile measure, document type, and you can do a search within. If I click on subjects you'll see that I can scroll down and it lists how many results I have for each one of those. So for example if I wanted to narrow this search to those with ransomware, I apply that, and now I've got 31 magazines instead of 3,000. Then I can scroll down. Uh, notice that each uh, abstract here on the results page gives you the author, the journal or magazine title, dates, whether it's a brief article, article, etc., and the Lexile reading score. Once I click on that article, that information carries here to the top of the page. Down the middle, the full article, you can also save that to your uh, Google and Microsoft. Of course, email and print this article. On the right hand side of this, you'll see that you have more like this. And you can view all related articles, which pops you to the end of the article for all the more like this articles about that has to do with Bitcoin and ransomware. You'll also notice here at the bottom the source citation information. This lets you change from MLA APA Chicago. You can also export it to these various tools. Back at the top, notice at the top right, I can go straight to that citation information, send to, download or print. I can also get the permalink to this specific article. If you wanted to put that in a document, you were doing some bibliographic instruction, creating your own bibliography for training, and I can come straight back into this article. To get back to my list, I can either follow my breadcrumb trail at the top left or next to the search box, click on my results. Since we narrowed our search by 
with ran since we narrowed by subject ransomware and that narrowed to 31 articles if I wanted to take that off I just click on the X and I go back to my 3,000 articles so let's go from browsing by topic to topic finder here at the bottom left this allows you to get a visual representation of your search results We can do it as tiles or we can do it as a wheel. So now I'll present you with some of these subtopics. I can go in, for example, data security, and it will give me those 40 articles here on the right hand side. It's now allowing me to narrow that even farther. So let's say I clicked on protection. And now I've got these 10 articles here on the right hand side. Once you go into one of these articles, notice it says at the top left, I can go back to my topic finder. Unfortunately, that will take you back to a blank topic finder. They are aware of that and they're working on it. So let's do a basic search now. I'm the astronaut, Christina Koch. And again, we're presented with a list of results. It tells me I have 135 magazines, three academic journals, 644 news items, and six images. Again, I can filter my results on the right hand side. And let's just scroll down again. So I might select International Space Station. But then I got interested in one that says chocolate chip cookies. So I just click the X and apply that to my search. Now I have one result and I can go find out why Christina, Coke the astronaut, was making chocolate chip ch cookies on the International Space Station. Again, I can take that off, that limiter off, and go back to my full results. The other thing you can do over here is search within, and that allows you to search within your results. Just to keep narrowing down to a specific search. Because you're doing that and you've narrowed it down and you have this search, and maybe it's current or you want to keep track of it, you want to know what comes in that's new, up here on the top right on this search bar is a search alert. And this asks you how you want to get your alerts. And you can put in your email address, create this alert, so then the next time an article hits General, Gale General One file for Christina Koch and experiments, you will be alerted to the um, new article within this database. So let's do one last search and look at some of the features once you're at the article level. Again, once we put our search in, 
It defines it by content type, material type. We have our filtering results for this results level. But now let's take it into the article level. And look at some features that are available to you here. We've already looked at top right here, citation, send to, download, print, getting the permalink. But once you're here in the article, right above the beginning of the article, you'll see that you can translate this article into many different languages. You can also change the font size. which I think you'll find very helpful for your patrons. What's also very valuable, depending on where your patrons are with reading levels and things like that, is this listen, this text-to-speech. Notice that it's doing a read-along, highlighting the read-along. The other thing it has available here is if you pull your cursor over, and look at that gear where it says settings. Click on that. You can do something called enhanced text visibility. You can change the sentence, word, and text color. You can slow the reading speed. This will help all your folks who have a reading issue. Now let me hit play again. So here's the enhanced text visibility. So whether you have the reading on or off, it lets them see that script in a larger font. The other thing that is available in these Gale databases is something called highlights and notes. So I'm going to take my cursor and I'm just going to highlight this sentence. When I release it, you'll notice a box pops up. I can highlight this and choose a color, and I can choose to put a note in here. And save it. If you scroll back up, you'll notice here on the toolbar that now I have one highlight and notes. I can continue through this article and do some other notes, or I can go back to my results list for this particular search, select another article, highlight some text, put a note, and save that. Now, I can go up here, print out my articles, then go get my highlights and notes, view all highlights and notes. So this is all the articles that I highlighted and made a note within this search results set. Notice that it has a warning here that once I close my browser, these are gone. So you'll need to print these out, and that's where I think it's helpful that you've color-coded them um, so that you can see if you're working on a couple different things. So I did green for green sea turtles and I did um, the blue for the primitive turtles, for example. It also lets you list the citation format in MLA or APA. So I think this resource has some great benefits because it's got multiple ways to search. The advanced search screen allows you to build a Boolean search and search in various parts of the document, but it also lets you search just the peer reviewed, for example, do a date search, a document type, 
publication title and subject, Lexile measures, so if you're working with kids, you can search by the Lexile or put in a single score. If you're curious about the publication search and you wanted to do just that, for example, um, the kids had an assignment to a specific publication or they'd seen that article in a specific publication, you can look to see if those are available in this particular resource and then go in and look at all the articles within that issue and issue of that title. So we can all go all the way down from the publication title, Boy's Life, to a specific article within an issue. What's nice about that too is that once you get to an issue of a particular title, you can really use make use of that search within button so that you could you okay you know it was in the December issue of Boys Life but now I've got to go through all of this and I can just put a search within and find that article The other thing that's up here um, besides on the toolbar here, besides the browse topics and a title list, is there's also available to you a search history. So if you're working with kids or working with patrons that they're trying a lot of things and you come over and take a peek at what they're doing, trying to help them out, take a look at the search history because you may be able to see that they're just getting one result or zero and they keep trying to add words to something with a no, low number of hits or that you can see that we you, they have 165,000 and they're going to need to play with that a little bit. So, and you can also go back into a specific search. So you wanted to get back to that chocolate chip cookie article. I can go straight to that from my search history. I think this is a great resource under our general tools. Um, if you want more information about it, down here at the bottom is a help link that lets you get more information about specific search types, alerts, things like that. There's also an about that takes you into a Gale page and you can follow that to some of their materials and tutorials to help you out with this and any other Gale database. Please contact me if you have any questions about this or any of our other Go Wild databases or pop into your local library and they can help you out. Thanks for joining in. Bye now.